welkom, jullie nieuwe manager. Legend Dirk Kuyt is back at Feyenoord and he's the manager now. Everybody believed he would be the next manager, but he didn't. But now, here with us, he's back in FIFA 22 and he's taking over the Feyenoord, a classic club who win, have won 15 Eredivision titles, 13 Cup titles. And international have won one European Cup, two UEFA Cups, and one Intercontinental Cup. He's famous for his youth academy, Barkenord. Uh, and when we started this save, uh, we have Justin Smith, who looks really interesting, and will be the only one who will take the step to the first team from the academy at the start. Uh, we scouted only from Dutch players and we found two more players during the season. The striker Rick Schouten uh, looks promising to be a third striker for the team. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, physically strong, you gotta say. And we found a winger Julian Meyer. Also nothing special but uh, good enough to be a backup uh, winger. Uh, 16 years old so he got the future in front of him. And, uh, the team looks good, uh, we only want to take players from the youth team, but we also had only one left back. Uh, so we had to make one signing to the rooster. Uh, we took a left back. Our choice was Alex Bangura, a Dutch left back from Kambul, 22 years old. Uh, good enough to be a backup left back for us. Uh, like we said, nothing more, nothing less. We're gonna build with the team we got. So, uh, yeah, is Dirk Kuyt's gonna do it? He's gonna do with the rooster he had gotten from the team the manager before. But, we believe that the team can manage good teams. Well, we will talk about the Dutch Cup. Orange Becker, like they call him FIFA, but the K 
KNDB Cup, that's its official name, uh, we actually managed to get to the final. And uh, the final usually are played at Feyenoord Stadium, the Coupe. Uh, but in FIFA, they play at the Johan Cruyff Stadium uh, because the Coupe doesn't really exist in FIFA. Sadly, it's a really good arena, the second largest, largest in the Netherlands. So yeah, but we made it all the way to the final uh, without conceding any goals. So we look really positive about it. And Ajax and PSV, they didn't make it. So we were playing 20 for the cup final game. Could we make it? Could we take our first title. Well, no doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. It's FC 20 against Feyenoord. Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, Derek. It's not been easy, but these players are 90 minutes away from making history for themselves. No doubt both managers will have set out their game plans and made sure every player knows exactly what their roles are. What a game we have in store for us. So here is the lineup. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Well, here's how Feyenoord line up. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field and rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Michel Flapp. Well, able to close. Oh, yes! First to score in this final. And it could be highly significant. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Sadilek gives it a go and there it is a two goal cushion now and just look at these fans the trophy coming their way surely well as you can see he gets a bit lucky here the deflection just had the keeper wrong footed but he won't worry about that In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage. In with a chance. There it is. A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. advised giving the ball away in that position very quick thinking there oh it was a terrible looking challenge and a big decision for the official here 
and the red card has been shown and that puts a bit of a stain on things well they're in a great position but that could change everything it's a thoughtless challenge Dessers the high press was very much on Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Gustil. On the ball, Dessers. And he might be through here. Oh, a goal! They're in the lead here now. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Quarter of an hour remaining here. Oh, a nice looking pass. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. And in the end, no damage done. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren. After a shaky start, we were the winners. We won the cup final. Dirk Kurtz's first title as a manager. Congratulations, yeah. But there was another thing in our mind, the league. We wanted to clinch a Champions League spot. But that, for that to happen, we need to start well. 
everyone, the weather forecast has promised us a very pleasant day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And you can really sense the anticipation on the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Willem Twe against Feyenoord. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. And this is how the lineup looks for Feyenoord. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Jens Tornstra. It should be. And there is the goal that gives them a well-merited lead. It had been coming. Crowley. Che Nunnally. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Yes, Derek, that's exactly the start you want. Yes, one or two players looked a little bit tired towards the end of the game, but that's to be expected. Overall, I thought it's a really good display. He was probably the difference between the two teams. A one nothing victory to start this league season. Very important for the team. And after that, it was the first home game of the season at the Coop was waiting for us. Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day. Not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. I'm delighted to be able to bring you live coverage of this game from the Eredivisie. Now can they make something happen? A chance to whip it in. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. And the pass could do damage. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, great attacking play. A glorious chance. And a goal! Well, Leicester fans have been wondering, would the deal go through? It is now official. They've got their man, Stuart. Well, the reported fee of around £35 million represents... A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, able to survive that attacking push. to produce they've delivered the goal will he find the net well fantastic reflex action great pressure to win the ball back 
Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Teal. Possession one. He's in behind. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. What a game! A massive 6 1 victory at our home premiere. Couldn't be better. And during the season, we saw that Ajax was a worse opponent in the chase of the Liga title and we were prepared for the first home game against the mighty Ajax. Nelson Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So, one nothing at the Kuip against Ajax. And the next time we will meet them was at the Johan Cruyff Arena, and we knew that Ajax really needed a win more than we did, so we were prepared for a really tough game. Hello and a warm welcome to the Balmer section of Amsterdam. We find ourselves here at the Johan Cruyff Arena. Coming up for you is live action from the Dutch Eredivisie. It's Ajax against Feyenoord. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And as the caption shows, the visitors come into today's game leading the league in goals four. The best attack in the league statistically. Sebastian Aller. Options in the centre. There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, he's outplayed and outfought him. Must be! It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, you can be a great attacking team, as we talked about. But if you don't defend with a tactical understanding or work hard enough to close the opposition down, you'll get performances like we've just seen. Today, they simply weren't good enough without the ball. Well, the determined Ajax was well better than us this game. This made the title race really exciting. And it all went down to the last game of the season. We were front of three points going into the last game. We knew that we needed to clinch it for ourselves. Thank you for your patience. We'll start taking questions now. Okay guys, we'll be wrapping up now. Thank you for attending. One last 
game. They could against Twente. Could we take the lead title? It's all up to us to do it. Are we watching the champions elect? We're just 90 minutes from finding out. A draw will suffice. We have all the action live. Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And today's the day they could be crowned champions. It is Feyenoord against FC Twente. Well, Derek, speaking to the fans outside the ground, they're in buoyant mood, so expect a brilliant atmosphere as they look to push their team over the line. What scenes we'll have at the end should they clinch the title today? Can't wait for this one. Michel Flapp. Václav Czerny. Happy to take on the shot. There it is! The opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Sinistera. Well, he has the measure of his man. And a chance to level it. And a goal it is! What does it mean? Well, it means silverware could be coming their way. That's a big moment. They can't let it slip now, surely. Well, I'm sure the replay will confirm he got a touch on this, which he does. So he'd be really upset that he didn't keep it out. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Alert defending. And the referee has blown for full time. It's official now. The champions have been crowned. Well, if you win the league, Derek, you've been the best team. And they certainly have been. And what great scenes we're seeing. Just look at the joy down there. They fully deserve this. They've been magnificent. The goal to be the best team in the league. And they've hit the target. Well, they certainly have. They've been consistent. They've been relentless. They've been outstanding. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Well, for some of these players, it will be the pinnacle of their careers. They just have to take it all in now and realise what they've achieved here. It doesn't come much better than this, does it? And just look at those fans. They've followed their club everywhere. Yeah, really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And this is always part of the fun, Stuart, the photographs. Well, this photo will be hanging up in the study for years to come, won't it? Just make sure you're in that front row. That would be my advice. So there we have it, the league champions. Time for a few quick questions.
big title to Feyenoord. Dirk Huyt, in his first season as a manager, wins the double and he beat Ajax to the title. What a season for the Feyenoord. I mean, unbelievable effort from the team and without any big signings except the squad that we had from the beginning so really good season for Feyenoord this is what the fans wanted and really deserved because the Feyenoord fans is one of the best in the world especially when it comes to support their team in any circumstance Thank you.